mean, I always envisioned it to be four-legged. I wanted to be this great big beast. I wanted it to be biped. And I was actually hoping for something a little more on the man side as well. I always thought it was kind of interesting, that, that kind of combination of animal and person. Uh, but John said, you know, you know, four-legged hound from hell. For God's sake, show me the good street here! John always said he's never going to show me that. Because I don't really want to see the wolf other than just for a couple seconds. And that's one reason, I mean, I, he sculpted with an extreme kind of expression to begin with. I was worried that if we relied totally on the mechanism to make the expression, that they would use a part when it isn't <laughs> making an expression. You know, we'd shoot something, but they'd, sh you know, they'd cut it in before or, or after when it was, you know. So I thought if it's only going to be this long, you know, let's make it look scary, no matter, even if we're not pulling any cables or doing anything. I think Rick based it on his dog. I had two dogs at the time. I had a German Shepherd, a white German Shepherd, and a Keys Hound, or Keyshan, as they're called sometimes, um, which was this hairier dog and kind of almost wolf-like, you know. A lot of times I'll look in the mirror and I'll make faces and kind of like be working on sculptures and it kind of looks like me and my dog was there. So it's like, okay, he's, he's kind of like a wolf, you know, he's got four legs and uh, he had this big mane of hair, which, is the, which the wolf kind of had. And so, yeah, it was very much based on my dog, Bosco. I think we get a, an impression of the size of the creature on the film. I mean, I think the only time you see it up close against another human being is when it bites the detective's head off. What the hell's going on here? Some kind of animal, sir. The head. Did Rick tell you about the head? Frankly, it wasn't all that exciting. And John said, I'm never going to see him. I'm just going to see it bounce. I've directed several movies now in, in the UK, and only once did I have a communication problem. I took the head, and I said, OK, the next shot, just get a little Dutch on the hood of the car, this car right here, and we'll throw the head in, and it'll bounce off. And the whole crew's looking at me like this. I mean, and I'm like, I want you to take the head and bounce it off the hood of the car, and we'll get a shot. Like, And finally I said, look! And I took the head, and I walked over, and I, I put it on the hood of the car. And it was like a light bulb went off. They all went, oh, the bonnet. You mean the bonnet? Oh, OK, why didn't you say so? To actually make it look like there's a real wolf running through Piccadilly Circus, you know, we tried a dog in a werewolf suit and it looked kind of clunky. And finally, Rick uh, came up with this kind of thing that we could sort of move around. I just remember one night not sleeping and uh, getting up and actually thinking about how we used to do this wheelbarrow race thing when you were a kid where somebody would hold your feet and you would just walk on your hands, you know. And I thought, well, if we could do something kind of like that and make some fake back legs, um, maybe that would work. And that's kind of what we did. Um, I talked to Doug Beswick and Doug made a this board. <laughs> it was basically just a plank with a little hinge in it where the waist is and put somebody on it and you could kind of walk. And one, one of the guys that was on my crew, this guy Kevin Brennan, we made the wolf suit to fit him. When we were in England, we, we had decided to make it like a tag team thing uh, and got this other guy, Brendan Hughes, somebody that we found that was Kevin's size who, to play the wolf. It wasn't a stuntman, it was, it was a trained dancer who had this really strong uh, torso so he could hold himself in there at this awkward angle and just be with his legs sticking out at the end with nothing to support him, really. It was clever. I became enamored of Rick's work, so I showed it too much. I still think when I see the movie, you see it too much, the wolf. But my favorite shot of the wolf in the picture is the guy in the, in the tubes when he collapses on the escalator and looks down, and the wolf enters like that at the bottom of the escalator. And that's my favorite shot, because it looks so fucking big. And what is that, you know? And you don't really see it, but you see it. I like that.